the man of the moment, in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? Hello and welcome to a very passionate football venue. I'm talking, of course, about Elland Road. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leeds United, and they face Bournemouth. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Number 6, And the match begins. <laughs> Jefferson Lerma. Zabanyi. Senesi. Ilya Zabanyi. It's with Vigna. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Really good challenge. He's going forward well here. Now he must favour the cross. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Well, for Bournemouth, it was never going to be easy. And in the event, a draw last time out against Nottingham Forest. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, they'd be disappointed with that result. Today, I think we'll see a much better display from them going forward. And they'll probably just have enough to win it. Jefferson Lerma. Alex Scott has an update for us. There's been a goal at Goodison Park. Tell us all about it, Alex. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's now 1-0 with 10 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Mark Rocca. Delightful pass. And not the best clearance. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Vigna. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's been brilliant for them. He's their leading goal scorer. And his general play in the top third of the pitch has been so clever. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Philip Billing. Harrison. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And the players waiting in the centre. Right, I'm going to bring in Alex Scott because I'm hearing there's been a goal at Goodison. It's a goal for Everton. It's all even Stevens at 1 1 with 18 minutes on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. The 
plenty of room in the wide area. Deciding to go inside. He's lost it. Jefferson Lerma. This attack looks highly promising. Careless in possession. Munas Dabur. On the ball, Mark Rocca. Good pressure high up the pitch. Crossing into the middle. Great pressure to win the ball back. And making the move to the inside. And unable to keep possession. Now with Greenwood. Dabur. That's a useful cross. Oh, he needs to clear it here. An important interception. Gonna get a try. And simple for the keeper. Pressing high to win the ball. Great block. It's a short corner. And a decent delivery. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, no card, but the referee making it clear next time there will be one shown. Struggling to get it away. Well, that's the end of that for now. Vigna are really closing him down. Couldn't keep the ball. Might be able to get in behind the defence. It's there for him! In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. was a foul but good use of advantage by the referee and teammates around him so one minute of stoppage time that's what the officials have said and the referee's whistle the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Yorkshire Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And it's a quality pass. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Has eyes for goal! And never in any doubt from the keeper. Being pressed and pressed high. Harrison. And the snuffing out of the cross there. 
and able to close down the shots. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. And short it is. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Who can he pick out? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. And behind it's gone for a corner. And they're going for the short one. And played in. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. On to Greenwood. Jack Harrison has it. Well, he did make a significant contribution in the first half. Munas oh, he's doubled. in behind them here, Derek. And a touch of finesse. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Well, it should boost their confidence, but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And now, passing it through. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Well, something has happened in the Everton game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's a second goal for Everton. The goalkeeper has spilled it back into the danger area and he is there to slot the ball into the back of the net nicely. They've pulled one back with 61 minutes played. The game has been fascinating so far, Derek. Thanks as always, Alex. Well, following on from the previous incident, he sees yellow now. And deciding to go short with this one. That's useful play. Played towards the back post. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Bournemouth taking on Brighton. And they're making a change. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Leeds United facing Aston Villa. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be... Oh, crashes it against the woodwork! Well, I think from that distance, he should be scoring. At least test the goalkeeper. Well, Leeds aren't controlling the possession here, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. Bournemouth doing well to regain possession. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Here's Chavez. And a throw in for Bournemouth. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Philip Billing. Has a go. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. And an opportunity from the corner to get right back into this one. They take it short. He certainly has time. 
Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Terrific block. Mark Roca. Rodrigo. Very quick thinking there. Chavez. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Shot attempted. Well, he took care of it defensively. It needs an accurate cross. An alert piece of defending. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated. Well, they still have designs on the win, but they took care of the situation defensively. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Useful looking ball, and he's through. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. A foul, but advantage played. Sinistera. And he's given us away. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Christie, clean challenge. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Oh, could be, and danger still. Well, they can keep possession now. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge, and it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And that will change the equation quite profoundly, Stuart. Absolutely, but it's a poor challenge. The referee had no other option but to send him off. And there we have it, the final whistle. Job done by Bournemouth today. Three points picked up. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. In the final analysis, he was one of their better players, but needed to be better still, I think.
Well, that was an average performance by him and his teammates. They just never got going. He can certainly play better than this.